Item number SCP-4052, Containment Class Euclid, Security Level 2. Special Containment Procedures Due to its relatively isolated nature, the town of Sandwich, Illinois. Note, now designated Site 481, has been quarantined by the Foundation. Individuals attempting to enter the town are to be interrogated, issued Class B amnestics, and released. All food items within the site are to be kept and consumed within its cafeteria, which has been constructed outside of city limits. SCP-4052 manifestations are to be treated cordially to prevent loss of personnel. Requests to utilize SCP-4052 in the removal of culinary-based anomalies is currently pending review. Description SCP-4052 is a humanoid entity that appears exclusively inside the town of Sandwich, Illinois, USA. This entity resembles an ordinary white male police officer, the single exception being its head, which appears as an uncut loaf of white bread. Despite this, SCP-4052 is able to speak, see, and hear without apparent issue. SCP-4052 manifests if something is brought or created within the town that can be defined using the word sandwich. SCP-4052 will appear on the paved road nearest to the creator of the object in a police car, henceforth referred to as SCP-4052-1, identical to those used by the sandwich police department. SCP-4052 will approach the current owner of the sandwich and request to see the individual's sandwich license, although no such legal document is known to exist. If a satisfactory document cannot be produced, SCP-4052 will respond by confiscating the sandwich and placing it in the back seat of SCP-4052-1 before driving away. Once SCP-4052-1 is out of viewing range of the individual, it will demanifest along with SCP-4052. Inquiries directed towards SCP-4052 about the method of obtaining a sandwich license are met with indifference, after which the entity will ask that questions be directed towards the DSO, no government office or department of this name is known to exist. Addendum Included below are portions of SCP-4052's test log to determine the extent of SCP-4052's manifestation requirements. Procedure D-1401 prepared a standard turkey sandwich. Before the sandwich was completed, 100 milligrams of arsenic was added to the dish. Results, SCP-4052 appeared wearing blue rubber gloves before confiscating the sandwich, commenting, This sandwich has way too much arsenic. It's way above the standard limit of three parts per gugillion. Conclusion, SCP-4052 will manifest if the sandwich is unsafe to consume. Procedure, several cut pieces of metal are stacked by D-1401, vaguely replicating the appearance of a sandwich. Results, SCP-4052 appeared wearing chain-link gloves before confiscating the metal, saying to personnel, Do you even have a Class B sandwich license? Any sandwich that contains metal or other dense materials in this construction requires a Class B license to construct. Conclusion SCP-4052 will appear if the sandwich is made of inedible material. Procedure D-1401 wrote the word sandwich on a standard sheet of printer paper. Shortly afterward, a crude drawing of a sandwich was created on a separate sheet of paper. Results! SCP-4052 manifested and confiscated both papers, commenting, How old are these documents? And you haven't gotten them renewed yet! Sandwich documents need to be renewed regularly so that we know the current operational status of your sandwich. If you had your license, I'd request you get a standard sandwich inspection to make sure there were no underlying problems.
Conclusion. SCP-4052 will appear if the abstract concept or a visual representation of a sandwich is used. Procedure. D-1401 created a map of Sandwich, Massachusetts, USA on a standard piece of paper. Results. SCP-4052 manifested midway through the recreation before taking the map from D-1401. Before leaving, he commented, You do realize what you're playing with, correct? You could have opened a rip between opposing sandwiches. You don't want to release what's between the slices. Conclusion SCP-4052 will appear if the term sandwich is used in reference to a specific location. Procedure D-1401 attempted a written analysis of the ham sandwich theorem without stating the name of the theorem. Result SCP-4052 manifested approximately 47 seconds into the analysis, confiscating all vague materials from D-1401, commenting, What are you doing? Are you trying to get us all killed? Writing sandwich creation rooms on a sheet of A4 paper? That flimsy compressed piece of pulp can never hold back an nth sand dimensional entity. This is our last warning, bud. Stop playing with fire. SCP-4052 then wrote D-1401 a ticket, claiming he owed $500 for multiple sandwich-related violations. Conclusion SCP-4052 will appear of a term sandwich is related to a mathematical process or abstract concept. Procedure D-1401 was given a copy of SCP-3689, and was provided the necessary ingredients to create the dish. Result! As D-1401 was adding the final ingredients to the dish, SCP-4052 manifested and drew its weapon, ordering that D-1401 cease creating the dish and place his hands above his head. D-1401 resisted and was restrained by SCP-4052 before being taken into SCP-4052-1. SCP-4052 re-entered SCP-4052-1 and emerged wearing a standard Level B hazmat suit and a biohazard disposal bag. SCP-4052 proceeded to disassemble the sandwich and individually place each ingredient within the disposal bag. Once this was completed, SCP-4052 making an obscene gesture towards nearby researchers before demanifesting along with D-1401. To date, D-1401 has not reappeared during subsequent manifestations. Conclusion SCP-4052 will appear if the sandwich has anomalous properties and will react accordingly. Item number SCP-4052 Containment Class Archon Security Level 4 Special Containment Procedures No active containment of SCP-4052 is to take place. SCP-4052's previous containment procedures have been nullified and classification changed accordingly. Archived Containment Procedures Due to SCP-4052's occupation of a foreign foundation site and the lack of a civilian population within the town, attempts to evict SCP-4052 from the current location have been unsuccessful. As such, containment of SCP-4052 is to be focused on misinformation and misdirection. All roads leading to or running through the town are to be rerouted to the nearby cities of Plano and Somonok. A foundation outpost is to be constructed through a nearby knoll, obscuring it from the town. Individuals attempting to approach the town are to be allowed in and intercepted upon exiting once out of view of SCP-4052. These individuals are to be interrogated amnesticized and relocated to a nearby town. Attempts to enter Site 481 for any reason are to be approved by two Level 4 personnel. Description SCP-4052 
is a group of humanoid entities currently occupying Site 481, which encompasses the entirety of Sandwich, Illinois, USA. These entities resemble ordinary police officers of various ethnicities and genders, a single exception being the head, which appears as uncut loaves of white bread. Despite this, SCP-4052 are able to speak, see, and hear without apparent issue. Current estimations show the population of SCP-4052 residing within the town as between 45 and 200, although this population regularly fluctuates. SCP-4052-1 are armored vehicles possessed by SCP-4052, resembling police cars used by the previous Sandwich Police Department. Through unknown means, SCP-4052-1 are able to translocate between Site-481 and a separate location, referred to as 4052-Omega, believed to exist on another dimensional plane. SCP-4052 used this ability to transport supplies and construction materials, along with the transport of additional instances. SCP-4052 are fairly amicable when approached by civilian individuals, allowing them to enter Site-481 and the town itself. SCP-4052 will only react violently if an individual attempts to enter the town with or create something within the town that can be defined using the word sandwich. Once something within the town is recognized as a sandwich, the owner of the sandwich will be apprehended by the nearest SCP-4052 instances and have the sandwich confiscated. The individual will then be brought to the Site 481D class holding cells and imprisoned for a seemingly random period of time. Different objects will produce varying levels of hostility from SCP-4052, with anomalous objects defined as sandwiches producing the most violent results. If an individual knowingly associated with the Foundation attempts to enter Site-481, they will be violently assaulted by SCP-4052. This occurs whether the individual's connection with the Foundation was during the past or present. During these encounters, SCP-4052 have shown an extremely elevated pain tolerance, with instances ignoring bullet wounds and compound fractures in order to continue attacking personnel. SCP-4052 will continue attacking until all personnel are either subdued or deceased, upon which SCP-4052 will place subdued individuals within an instance of SCP-4052-1 and transport him to 4052-Omega. Individuals who have been taken to 4052-Omega have never been recovered. Addendum 4052-1 Following several failed attempts to infiltrate Site-481, undercover Foundation agents coerced several civilian photographers to photograph the interior of Site-481 under the guise of it being a recently constructed theme park. Of note, within the photographs were several flyers placed around the town, having an overwhelming presence in the interior of the site. A second civilian excursion were able to acquire one of these flyers. A recreation of this flyer had been provided below. Attention officers, if you are stationed at Sandwich Outpost Phi Alpha, be on the lookout for human individuals associated with the organization known as the Secure Contain Protect Foundation. Although their intentions are unknown, they are largely responsible for the creation of a large tears within sandwich time, along with the release of several nth sand dimensional entities within the lower slices. This in violation and ignorance of our enforced laws have partially contributed to the current state of Sandwich Prime. If you encounter one of these individuals, it is imperative that you attempt to restrain them as soon as possible. They are considered extremely violent and have previously attempted to breach this compound. 
relocate them to Summit Prime, where they will be sedated and interviewed, as the motives are still unclear. If you are unable to restrain them, do not be afraid to use a firearm. Your safety takes precedence over everything. Remain vigilant. Remember, our war here is not with the human population. Our war is with those who disobey our laws and threaten the safety of others. And better be with you. Addendum 4052-2 on beep, September 14th. MTF Lambda 24, East and Desist, was utilized in an organized raid on Site 481, with the goal of weakening SCP-4052's hold on the compound. Utilizing a former loading bay, the team used a chemical explosive to break through a disused metal garage door. Once the explosive was detonated, a large opening was created in the door. When a member of Lambda 24 went to inspect the point of entry, several hostile entities burst forth from the exposed interior and attacked the unprepared task force. These entities appeared to be made of yellow semi-solid material and proved to be largely unaffected by gunfire, dispatching a majority of the NTF within minutes. These entities were only subdued when SCP-4052 instances, after hearing the commotion, rushed out of the compound and began attacking the entities using a military-grade flamethrower, allowing the surviving members of Lambda-24 to flee. Following this event, a brief note from SCP-4052 was found on the desk of head researcher Randall Bannock, likely to his previous involvement in the containment of SCP-4052. A transcription of the note has been provided below. Dear Secure Contain Protect Foundation, I think it's about time we formally request you seat involvement in our activities. I'm fully aware that you believe that you're only doing good by attempting to protect the public from what they aren't knowledgeable of, and that might harm them. We agree that it's a very noble cause. As such, we request that you allow us to follow the same noble goal and allow us to control things that might harm others due to their lack of understanding. That includes you. You've shown countless times that you don't understand why rules have been set in place as well as the tendency to blatantly ignore them. Just recently, we were required to clean up your mess after you created a portal to the lowest possible slice by using a process identical to those used in open-faced sandwich explosives. Compared to your clearly careless method of operating, our agency has done far better at abiding by universal restrictions. Countless times you've interrupted our operations, causing our stationed officer countless hours of stress and paperwork following every one of your experiments. The only contribution you've made towards our commitment is the construction of our newest outpost, which you proceeded to infiltrate multiple times. We feel as if it would be best if our parties went separate ways, don't you agree? We would be one less interdimensional information breach for you to worry about, and you could stop violating our spatial laws and opening rifts to allow hostile beings into our outpost. A win for both of us. Of course, taps will still be kept on you due to your impact on our agency as a whole. I expect you to follow suit. Don't worry about us. We can take care of our own containment. I hope we can do the same. Woman's regards, Sylvia Lavish, Sandwich Catechism Prevention. Following a decision by the O5 Council, all further Foundation involvement regarding SCP-4052 and its continued spatial enforcement has been suspended.